ask me anything you want. All right, so how did you get in magic? Boy, I started a long time ago. I'm one of those really lucky people who started, who found what they loved to do when they were young. So I got a magic set for Christmas when I was five. And from that point on, it was, it was, there was no question what I wanted to do. So and I still feel like that five-year-old kid. I still have that same passion and enthusiasm for what I do. And uh, how lucky am I? How many people get to say that? So, so um, what would you say is the most difficult thing about being a magician? Well, I mean, you know, for me, my goal has always been to go beyond what other people my age were doing. When I was in my teenage years, I, wanted, I didn't want to look like a teenage magician. I wanted to look like an adult magician. Now that I am an adult, an adult magician, now that I am an adult magician, um, or now that I'm in my, you know, I, I've, I've grown forward, um, you know, we still try and find, my goal is to find the next mountain to climb. I'm always looking to take magic into places where it hasn't gone, like the parade this morning. We were, you know, honored to be the first magician um, performers ever invited to perform in the parade. I myself was a magician. I just hit the microphone. Let me answer that again. So this morning in the parade, for example, um, I was honored to be the first magician ever asked to perform in the Independence Day parade here in Washington. Um, and it was a thrill. I love that. I love taking magic where it's never gone and where people don't expect to see it. So for me, that's, I wouldn't say it's difficult. Um, it's not, it's not, um, uh, it has its own challenges to it, but they're fun challenges. They're the challenges that I enjoy. Uh, and there are many more mountains to climb. What are some of these challenges that you face today with the parade? Well, it's interesting. You know, I think anytime you do magic in an uncontrolled environment, such as the parade, you're outdoors. You don't know what the weather conditions are going to be. You don't know what the wind conditions are going to be. Uh, we have people watching from a 360 degree view. Uh, and, and, and you add to that the fact that we're on a moving platform, uh, which you feel. You know, when you're in the parade and you're going down the parade route, every little bump, every little turn is magnified when you're standing there. And of course, you don't want to look like you're swaying back and forth when you're, when you're performing. So, you know, all that together makes it for an unusual situation. Fortunately, we, all, we knew all this going in, so we, we expected it. Uh, and I can honestly tell you there were no surprises, uh, but it was fun. It was a blast. I, you know, I can't believe that an hour and a half went by. It, it felt like 15 minutes. It really did. What would you say would, would be um, the greatest uh, accomplishment that came from this? What, what do you hope to achieve from doing this parade today? Well, I mean, you know, I have a, a whole list of places that I want to take magic. I, there are so many things that I want to do. Um, so I hope this is just you know, a step continuing along the way and I hope that more than anything else that the audience, the, the thousands of people who were there, I hope they're walking away now going, wow, the, you know, we were amazed. Not only was it a great parade, but you know, we didn't expect to see magic there and boy, wasn't that great, wasn't that fun. Um, that's my goal is to travel around the country and around the world and continue amazing people everywhere we go. So hopefully, you know, we keep, um, you know, we keep pushing in that direction. That's the goal. Is that the drive for you? For the, for the whole, just everything? Is that the drive to just take magic to different places? What, what inspires you to keep doing this, you know? Yeah, I, wanna, I want to, you know, let me think about how I want to answer that because that's a, that's a very uh, you know, deep question. Um, the goal is A, to take magic where it hasn't gone before. Um, but B, you know, be able to amaze audiences on a, on a large level, on a large scale. When we did our stadium shows last year, for example, I love that, you know, because we were able to take magic to an audience of 70,000 people live. Uh, and as an entertainer, you know, it, it, it's, it, you, you feel great. I mean, it, it's just, you know, you're going, you know, above and beyond what, what the easy thing is to do or the simple thing is to do. You're challenging yourself and you're achieving those challenges, you're achieving those goals. And for me, that's what it's about, is setting those impossible goals and, and going after them. Do you feel there's a different sort of crowd reaction compared to a 70,000 people crowd to a crowd like today, where it's normally 7,000 people? Yeah. What was great about today was that even though it was, you know, there was a lot of people, they tell me that there was 250,000 people watching today. So even with an audience of 250,000 people, it felt surprisingly intimate. You could see their faces, you could feel the connection with them. When you do the stadium shows, you're so far away from everybody, you don't feel that. I mean, you see the audience and they're there and, and it's wonderful. 
But today, surprisingly, I could really, you felt like you made that same personal connection that you make in a theater. Um, and that was surprising, and I really, I really enjoyed that. We had a little kid at one point actually run up to the float, and, uh, and his parents let him, and he came up to the float, and uh, you know, he wanted to see the magic up close, and he wanted to, you know, we sent him back quickly so that he was safe, but um, you know, I think that shows that the audience felt that connection too. They felt comfortable enough to come right up and, and you know, get close. Can you say there's any sort of closing words or anything like that you'd like to say about this whole event, this whole process? This process, you know, what we, uh, I am so thrilled with, with A being here. I had such a great time. It's an honor to bring magic to, you know, our nation's capital, capital, let me say that again, editing. It's an honor to bring magic to our nation's capital. And, you know, again, to, to be able to levitate a girl in this float as we move throughout the country, uh, throughout the city was, you know, again, to be able to levitate a girl as we move throughout the city was, um, you know, a personal goal of mine that I always wanted to do. So it's something I'll never forget. This was definitely a project that, that I won't forget. And I can't wait till the next one. Uh, specifically, what would be the next main project you would want to do? We have a couple of things in the works. We're doing a stadium show in Miami uh, at the end of July. So we're taking a half hour uh, of three different half hour sets that we have that we're going to put together and make a large show. Um, I'm going to answer that again too. So at the end of July, we're going to Marlin Stadium in Miami and we're going to do an outdoor concert series performance. Really excited about that. Uh, and we're also taping a television special this fall. Uh, we're taping a segment for a television special that should be on uh, probably September, October where we're going to be doing one of our original large-scale illusions, so I can't wait for that. And we have a lot of projects in the works, both television-wise and live performing-wise. So, and we travel around the country all the time, so I hope we get to see a lot of people around the country real soon. Stadium or theater? Which do you prefer more? That's an interesting question. I love the magnitude of a stadium. I love the fact that we can take our magic to so many people at the same time. Um, but, you know, in a theater, you can make more of an intimate connection with people, which I like too. I, I got to tell you, I like them both equally. I love doing magic on a grand scale. You know, our goal is to find the largest stadium in the country and in the world and put our magic there. Uh, but but theaters too are always you know equally is 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 great. We like to pull everybody in and make them feel like they're part of the show, not like they're just watching, but like they're a part of the show. So theaters, stadiums, parades, we love them all. Do you feel there's an international platform for your for your uh, entertainment? Absolutely, I think magic is the perfect art form for international um, viewing because you don't need to understand the language to understand what I'm doing. If you see a girl float. I don't have to say a word. You get the sense of amazement. You get the sense of wonder. You know something very special is happening. Um, from a purely visual standpoint, I think magic is the strongest art form to take around the world. You know, I've always said that you could put magic on mute uh, in a television store and people, be, people could be walking past and if it's done right, they'll stop dead in their tracks and go, what is that? Um, so yeah, magic's perfect to take around the world. And I guess uh, from an audience standpoint, is there any one particular group that you're trying to capture the attention of, or do you appeal to everybody? Or everybody around the world. Everybody. everybody around the world. We want to play to everybody. We, I, you know, I love magic. I love magic since I was five years old. I think magic is such a beautiful, compelling, imaginative, um, you know, daring art form. And my goal is to show people. I want them to see magic how I see it. I want them to know everything that magic can be. And that's why we push the boundaries of what we do and, and magic overall. Because I really, you know, I think it's, there's, it's still very much underexplored around the world. And I want people to see it the way I see it. I guess my last question would be, what would separate you from any other magician that's out there? Well, I think, I think you know, like musicians, everybody has their own style. Our style is, first of all, what I hope comes across is that the audience is watching a guy that they truly feel that they're watching a guy who absolutely loves what he's doing. I want my love for what I'm doing to just come across the footlights and hit the audience. And that's what really pulls them in. I think not every performer has that, but for me it's sincere. I love what I do. 
I love the audience. I love watching the amazement on their faces. So I think when you build that connection, you know, when you're sitting in that theater, I think that really makes the audience become invested in the show. The other thing is, is we work very hard to create magic that the audience has never seen before. So we try and give them something very special, something that is, is a one of a kind experience. And, and it, we're just at the beginning. There's so many more things to do. I can't wait to, uh, to keep pushing ahead. There's more great things to come. What's the most complicated trick you've ever done? Or illusion, per se? We did, uh, for our NBC television special, I did a piece where I was chained up to a frame 10 feet above, on a platform 10 feet above the stage, uh, between two walls of spikes, two walls of razor sharp steel spikes. The spikes were pulled back and set on very powerful springs which were set to a timer. And when the sand ran through this hourglass, the timer was released and the spikes came together at 50 miles an hour. And if I wasn't out in time, obviously there'd be a couple extra holes in my body that aren't there now. Um, to make it even more dangerous, they lit the spikes on fire and they covered me in gasoline. So I had 60 seconds to escape before uh, some really bad stuff happened. So in that, in that situation, um, you know, you're, you're thinking of not only accomplishing the magic, but keeping yourself safe, keeping yourself alive. The danger was very real. Uh, fortunately, I, I, you know, I'm here and I, you know, I made it out. So that was one of my favorites. So that was, that was really a piece that um, I'm very proud of.